he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. September 17th, 2022, Saturday, 24th week of the Ordinary Time. Prepare your minds and hearts as you listen to the Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 8, verses 4 to 15. And when a great crowd came together, and people from town after town came to him, he said in a parable. The sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell along the path. And was trodden underfoot. And the birds of the air devoured it. And some fell on the rock. And as it grew up, it withered away, because it had no moisture. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns grew with it and choked it. And some fell into good soil and grew, and yielded a hundredfold. As he said this, he called out, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And when his disciples asked him what this parable meant, he said, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but for others they are in parables, so that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. The ones along the path are those who have heard, then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, that they may not believe and be saved. And the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But these have no root, they believe for a while, and in time of temptation fall away. And as for what fell among the thorns, they are those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray and meditate on this Gospel passage. How good are you at listening, especially for the Word of God? God is always ready to speak to each of us and to give us understanding of his word. Jesus' parable of the sower is aimed at the hearers of his word. There are different ways of accepting God's word, and they produce different kinds of fruit accordingly. There is the prejudiced hearer who has a shut mind. Such a person is unteachable and blind to the things of God. Then there is the shallow hearer, who fails to think things out, or think them through, such a person lacks spiritual depth. They may initially respond with an emotional fervor, but when it wears off their mind wanders to something else. Does God's word for you go in one ear, and out the other? Another type of hearer is the person who has many interests and cares, but who lacks the ability to hear and understand what is truly important. Such a person is forever too busy to pray and to listen and reflect on God's word. Because he or she allows other things to occupy their mind and heart. Whose voice or message gets the most attention from you the voice of the world with its many distractions, or the voice of God, who wishes to speak his word of love and truth with you.
each and every day? Prayer Lord Jesus, faith in your word is the way to wisdom and to ponder your divine plan is to grow in the truth. Open my eyes to your deeds and my ears to the sound of your call that I may understand your will for my life and live according to it. Amen.